My name is Ashley and I'm 47. I'm a mother of one and this is my husband Peter. Older. In 2019 I um, went into hospital with back pain and was diagnosed then with stage 4 breast cancer which had progressed to my uh, spine so I now have bone cancer as well as breast cancer. We felt lost in, in, the, in the beginning. We were devastated. Yeah. Yeah, we it were was... completely devastated. Our world was upside down. I had just got my dream job. I was actually going for a fitting for the uniform force. And I came out and I said, well, I'll just go into hospital and I'll just find out what this pain is in my back. I'll just get it sorted before I start this job once and for all. And that was it. That was the last time I got to try on that uniform. We had like we had so many plans that year. We had said that 2019 was going to be our year. It'll be our year, and, and as I say, between that feeling of helplessness, going from I suppose feeling that we were fully in control of our lives. We sat down. We discussed everything until we knew what we were dealing with. We didn't discuss it with them and Louise, our daughter. But as soon as we knew it was it was serious, we we took her aside and had a conversation with her. She took it quite well, considering she was only 14 at the time. We constantly talked to each other, communicated with each other. We took a little bit of time initially because obviously there was upset there and, and <laughs> then we kind of had to gather ourselves and, and, and say, right, where do we go from here? How do we manage this? And we kind of started our own road to kind of planning and, and how we were going to deal with this and how we were going to live with it. And then all of a sudden there was a helping hand there. Things became, it it's gave amazing. us a, a, lot, a lot clearer. There was a lot more clarity in terms of how to approach things. We get great help from the hospital and from St. Francis. When they came out and they explained what they did and the more time went on and the more phone calls we had, I was able to go over to St. Francis and see what it was all about there. And I was, I was able to get therapy over there as well. When then COVID hit, they kept in contact by phone and by Zoom call and did the peer group course for me as well, which was a great help. The peer program, which stands for Palliative Enablement Exercise and Rehabilitation, is a joint initiative that was set up between occupational therapy and physiotherapy in St. Francis Hospice Dublin to provide palliative rehabilitation to patients in their home. It is a goal-based program and uh, consists of exercise, which is completed by the physiotherapist, and education, which is completed by the occupational therapist. It focuses very much on self-management and the idea is, is that we give people the tools to know how they can move their bodies, how to exercise. Um, for a lot of patients they might be a little bit nervous about moving or exercising because they're afraid that they're going to make their illness worse or they're going to hurt themselves. So our job is very much about identifying the appropriate exercise for the people that we have in front of us. As Ashleen has benefited from is that peer support from other patients online. The encouragement to uh, re-engage in activities and also benefit, benefiting from connecting with patients who are also on a similar journey to them. It was nice as well to do with other people in a similar situation. Everyone took it not too seriously, but serious enough as well. Everyone turned up every week, but we, we all did it with a light heart because it was a nice, it was a nice part of the week that I looked forward to on a Monday morning and on a Wednesday. You never feel a burden. You're, you're the main, you're the, the priority for them, no matter what you're going through. Even if you're having a great day, they still take the time to, to ask you about every aspect of what wasn't great last week for you make sure that you're okay and you're over that or you know do you need help with that still or can I do anything for you? It's an incredibly effective form of assistance uh, from both their voice point of view to the actual their, their physical um, support as well is it's it's a valuable support that, that uh, nobody should be overwhelmed by in any way shape or form. And everybody should take up on it uh, given the if they're given the opportunity everyone should take the opportunity with both hands because uh, it really will make your life so much easier.